de oiau doamat poate de oiau doamat poate to do sense of future chapter one the sky our story begins in the sky with the boy then sun and the puppy Clouds and then nods of a flock of geese. After spending the cold of the months at the southern wintering grounds, the geese were migrating back to their old hen home. They flew in a perfect V formation and needed the way what a graceful young goose. The leader kept his eyes forward. Constan Constantine searching for bad weather or of ships, but the sky was clear of any trouble. An island appeared in the distance. Only the island appeared and then it up. The geese spent a few days hopping. From island to island, munching on the grass and wasting their wings. Then they took off for the last leg of their journey. Cargo ships were pouring to the waves below. This part of ocean was a sipping lake. It was crowning. With the huge results it's making it its own migration to the next seaport the geese flew high over the ships soon on the cold she was swatters but it told the horizon in every direction. Hours passed before the geese spotted a familiar rocky shapes of the whole island. The quick land the pace. Now they could see the mountain and the forest. And the white stars of the waterfall. Now they were flying over the coastline. Now they were circling above the beaver barn pond. The fog glided down to the pond and splashed onto the surface. They floated there, killing, leaning their feathers. Until below the water, were the deer webbed feet and started paddling, and they swam to so and waddled onto a pebble beach, while the others made hit themselves at home. The leader one went into the forest by himself. He followed the path. To the underground, passing all the trees and the mossy stones and the thick bamboos, and he stopped doing some canoeing. The girls hung the loud knee and listened for a response. Silence, and then the forest began to move. What color stones? So can the ground but it get up on chunks of the tumble aside and they're standing in front of the goose was a robot. With uh, you and I would have been terrified in that moment. It's not every day you see a robot burst up from the ground, but the goose was 
wasn't too with it. He was happy. You see, that robot was his mother. He floated onto the shoulder. The two of them spoke to each other in the language of the animals. And I'm, I missed you, Ma, said Brightman the Goose, welcome home, son, the wild robot.